Hello everyone, it's Natasha from Treasure Books. In this video, we are using index cards to create index card art using only five elements to keep it nice and simple and easy. As usual, I will also show you lots of examples on what you can do with such a thing to give you an abundance of creative inspiration. All right, let's begin. I have my large index card ready and next thing I'm going to do is choose five elements from this box. Five is a number that I just made up. It doesn't have to be five, it doesn't have to be three, it can be anything you want, but it's good to limit yourself to how many things you can use because otherwise we tend to just keep on looking for stuff. So I like to categorize. So the first element I'm going to use is this music page. It can be a book page, it can be any sort of pattern paper, scrapbook paper, etc. Next thing I'm going to use is washi tape and I reach for this one because it's just been speaking to me lately like crazy. And by the way, I'm going to link all the things you see just in case if you if you want to purchase something, I always get people asking, where did you get that thing? Anyway, everything Everything will be linked in the description box below. Next thing I'm gonna choose is a sticker. This comes as a pack, all six boxes, 60 stickers each. And I'm reaching for this one because I know like the colors, you know, and it, it's, I've just been using it a lot and it just goes. And I don't know, I'm drawn to this color at the moment. So I'm gonna go with that. Another thing I want to use is this washi tape that I have. And I've been using quite a lot of this washi tape. So it's my latest obsession. So here's the thing. I've chosen two different washi tapes. This can even be called a sticker. And this is considered one element. So washi tape, you can use 10 washi tapes. It's one element. So what I'm trying to do is five different elements. And I'm gonna choose this one as well because postage stamps, you know? So far I have book page, stickers, washi tape. That's three elements. I need two more. I might add this avocado dyed doily as my fourth element and some fabric as my fifth element. And now let's see what we can do. So here's the thing. Like I said before, the idea with the five elements is to stop the overwhelm. You don't want to get your boxes out and all your little bits and pieces out all around you and create an absolute disaster because you're overwhelmed and you don't know what to do. By having five elements only, you are exercising the creativity muscle by limiting yourself. I am going to uh, just pop the washi tape around the corners. And also, I mean, if you watch my videos, you know I like to do one thing and then recreate it over and over again. So for example, with this sort of thing, uh, you can make a design like what I'm doing right now and then keep replicating the same thing with different types of things. So instead of using this washi tape, you use this one. And instead of using this, fabric you use maybe something like this you're kind of following the same formula but creating a completely different effect and again going back to the five elements thing there are no rules in this craft you start off with five and then as you're crafting if you have an idea that you think is going to add so much beauty to your project then you go ahead and you add however many elements you want all right, so now you can see what I've done here. I've pretty much covered the whole index card there. I mean, we have the back. Oh, I shouldn't do it upside down. Better keep that in mind. So now what I'm going to do is just work out what I kind of want to do with this thing. Next thing I have is this doily, which is too large. So perhaps I will cut it in half. Maybe I can do something like this. So it's just peeking out from under there just playing around and then perhaps I can do one of these girls I like that and that one there's just they're all nice whatever I put on there is gonna look good I have some that I have already cut out I'm just kind of testing to see how which one looks the best then I want to use these wash uh, these washi stickers maybe she's going on a holiday so I like to kind of do all this layering at this stage before I start gluing stuff down just so I can see where I want everything since she's over here I will have the tab up here and then I have one more thing left which is a label I feel like I need to have some sort of a label these are stickers and they're so very cool maybe I can do something like this or perhaps 
All right, so now that I've decided what I'm going to do, I'm gonna go ahead and take a photo of this, which I can't do because I'm filming. So I'm just gonna take a mental note and I'm gonna remove everything and start gluing my pieces down. And remember, this isn't very serious business. So just make sure you're, you know, experimenting and trying different things and just having a bit of fun. I'm absolutely in love with these labels and they are so very sticky. Usually I need to apply glue. Look at this. I know that's a bit disgusting, isn't it? I was gonna say, I usually need to apply glue to stickers in general, but these ones are just so sticky. All right, so what I want now is her dress to overlap. Like I like things to overlap. So I'm just working out where exactly the label is gonna go. Cause once it's on there, it cannot be moved. And now I'm going to glue her. So the way that I do this, these are very easy to peel because it's like a washi tape. So what I do, instead of peeling the whole backing off, I only peel a little bit off. So, and then I place the sticker on where I want it. So let's say that's where I want it. And then I go and glue the thing down. Okay, so now all I have to do, I don't actually go and remove the backing all at once, but I do this. You probably knew that and you probably do it too but in case if you don't just want to share that little trick with you so what would be cool to do if i wasn't limiting myself at the beginning or from the beginning i would have sewn around the edges of this music paper but i didn't because i'm limiting myself sort of for now i might break break my own rules i made them up and i can break them if i want I mean, I'm already following quite a number of rules in life. We don't need any more rules in crafting. And now I want to attach this tab over here. And here we have it. So I've sewn that tab on, which really theoretically you could say the sewing is a sixth element. I think when you're using washi tape that has the gold foiling, it just makes everything so much better. I mean, look at that border. It's uh, quite beautiful. If you had quite a standard washi tape with no gold foiling, then you can make the, this here a little bit more rich, I suppose. Another thing that we can do here is to add a little bling and here I am definitely breaking those rules. It's like with teenagers, our brains are teenagers and we need to set boundaries for our teenagers, right? We do that with our teenage children. We, they need clear boundaries and sometimes we'll give them a little bit of leeway. I'm just thinking what goes best on there and look at this, I mean, it's as if I have planned this beforehand. It's as if I, I decided to use this ahead of time and place it there waiting for it. But I didn't. It's literally, look at this. It was made for the, you know how long I've had this? Dare I say over a decade, this little flower, I mean butterfly. Clearly it was waiting for this day. So as I was saying, we set boundaries for the teenagers, for our children. So we must set boundaries for our brains when we're crafting. I'm just making all this up, by the way, just making it up as I go. All this nonsense I'm talking about. Basically what I'm trying to say, it's good to give yourself a little boundary, like five elements only, and then to go ahead and break it if you feel inclined to do so. But you don't want to spend hours on one little project. You don't want to spend hours making this. I mean, oh my goodness, I can't even tell you how much I love this butterfly. All right, so now let me just quickly discuss what can you do with this sort of thing. So if you're making them as single, just like this, they are really cute to be journaling spots inside journals. Something like this is too precious to be tucked away in a journal pocket. So if it was something like this, I would definitely perhaps have this as a journal cover, which we'll get to next. Even this one here is quite pretty. I mean, you can have them as singles like this. And as I said, they're journaling spots, so you write on the back. They can be in journals, inside pockets, all that sort of fun stuff. So you can keep them as single. This one's not my, you know, it's nothing great. This one here is a pocket. So I'm just showing you ideas on all of the different things that you can do. We just have the music page, 
the washi tape stickers so that's two elements the lace four elements and the sewing five elements very very simple and it's a little pocket that can go inside a journal you can I was gonna uh, fill it up with stuff but then I thought you won't be able to see the girl so I just left it like that and this one here all, all sorts of fun little things happening here we have some stenciling over there some book page stickers a label and then you know I've got the sewing as well and then I've got this little kind of a bling kind of a ribbon thing happening that I was inclined to do I just felt drawn to it you can see I did some eyelets over here and some beads and you know this one took way too long it's like these tiny little details were driving me crazy but I was adamant to do it so I did it wouldn't be doing it again this one is kind of but not really a sewing themed one so I don't know if you recognize this here this is the, those measuring tapes from Ikea and I just ruffled it up here to make a paper ruffle have some little off cuts of lace fabric and all fun stuff and then this frame underneath and then again another one of these vintage label stickers here and this is also a washi tape that has all these homely little images you, you can't even see that little kitty cat look at it there's a little cat there it's just homely isn't it and then a tab up here just a sewing theme can't, can't, loosely a sewing theme I didn't have anything in mind ahead of time so this is an image from Reader's Digest book anyway we're gonna keep going but there's other things that I wanted to show you but anyway I'm just giving you some ideas here see adding little bling adding little stickers a little bit of stenciling in the background that kind of thing and then over here I like this one as well it's kind of busy did a little bit of stamping here you can see that green it kind of looks I'm not a fan actually of how that green looks but in any case this is washi tape and then a number washi tape up here and then a little sticker just picking out and seeing that sticker now it brings me to this one because you can see the full thing here so as I said the first idea is keeping them as singles just like this so you have a few like that and then you choose your favorite one which in this case oh out of these two I don't know which one it would be it would be really hard to choose probably this one you choose your favorite to be the front cover of a journal which is what this is so I made these not planning for it to be a little journal but it became a little journal so you can see similar kind of elements this is what I was talking about once you find your little formula you keep kind of replicating it and it turns out something completely different but you're using the same elements washi tape book page or music page stickers labels okay you just place them differently and you achieve completely different results imagine if this was a completely different washi tape same thing different stickers same thing sticker label same thing a little random bits tab up here you see but completely different outcome so basically what I did here to make this into a journal is I poked some holes or punched some holes you can see that and it's being held together with jump rings that's all that is once you find a design that you really really love or oh, replicate it uh, you can do the exact same thing or you can do something slightly different like I used slightly different labels slightly different little stickers here and this piece as well but you know kind of the same thing because the first one that I made which was this one here I love that that much that I wanted to make another one so let me quickly show you this journal there's only a few pages in there not much there's that washi tape girl look at this washi tape that comes from the same pack as this one I'll have a link down below but in case you haven't noticed look at this bling up here I love bling and especially with this side of th uh, this kind of thing look at this washi tape oh my goodness just oh and then this one here I love this little paper ruffle effect here just folded paper ruffle beautiful washi tape down here some book pages you can see that just layering book pages layering labels then going ahead putting stickers down and washi tapes and a tab and some sewing even on the side this one here is the very first one that I did so it's quite simple I have some stamping happening there this is that bird washi tape I call it washi tape because it came from the washi tape shop but actually I suppose you could say they are well they are stickers with some gold foiling you can see that and then there's this Japanese inspired one 
it's just easier to make two of the same thing but if you're not into that kind of thing if you're just doing it as a one-off then you don't have to do that I suppose you don't have to do anything you don't want to do really you don't have to do any of this I kind of like what I like about this one here is that this label is almost as if it's breaking out through that frame simply because I glued one side of the label underneath the frame whereas this one is on top of the frame so it kind of gives a depth so in any case and then we have a little a little something up here a little heart and then when I close the journal because of all of the tabs and everything that I've added it looks very very rich it's kind of sticking out and up and imagine if I did side I don't know why I didn't do any side ones probably because they're so wide I didn't want to add to the width so I did them all up the top I think it looks great if you also happen to have these wide index cards and in most cases they are wide like this then you can make something like this mini little journals so instead of having a large wide canvas which is quite difficult to balance and what i mean by that when you saw me working on this one you saw how i was trying to pop this one well, should I put it here? Should I put it there? Should I put it there? I kept trying to move things around so that the whole piece looks kind of balanced. Like when you're working on a smaller surface, and for some reason it's easier to work on this kind of orientation as well, easier to do the whole focal point thing. But when you're working on a smaller surface like this, it just seems easier to get the flow happening. So what you see here, okay, what you see here is just the front decorated, but what you see here, I started off exactly the same way, you can see. I popped the thing down, the book page or the music page, and then I folded it in half and decorated the front. This is the first one I did, so I didn't decorate the back. I much prefer this look. So I'll definitely do the same thing again. Look at this gold! Ugh. So I'm gonna do one on camera, I'll probably speed up a little bit and then I'll show you like all this fun stuff. I mean, I know you wanna see all this fun stuff. But look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh my goodness. All right, we'll come back to this. Just started off with inking the edges and now I'm gonna choose a different washi tape. It's very, very easy when you've got beautiful washi tape that just speaks a story and has all these gold bits and it just makes everything fabulous. But I'm gonna see if I can do it with a different, maybe one that doesn't have gold. Maybe I can do something like this. So just to show you, I was working on a different type of thing and you can see here, I've cut out the washi tape. Maybe I can do something like this. I mean, this looks quite beautiful too. It actually looks really lovely as it is, but I feel like now I need to do something with it. Just looking at maybe things that kind of go with the color theme. Seriously, these are just the bet, like getting the whole pack. I just wanted to show you this one. I haven't used any of it yet, but I think it's so cool. It's so look at this for like, remember these envelopes? I don't know, if they, are they still around? I remember using these airmail. I had to stick these onto an envelope before sending a letter so that they know that it's going overseas. Back to what we are doing over here. Okay, I know what I'll do. I'm going to do a thin little strip of this. All right, glue it down. Oh, there's an idea. That looks like a house. Have you seen my whimsical houses video? That kind of reminds me of those houses. All right, I'm going to cut this off. Here we go, that looks quite nice. And now I'm going to fold this in half because we're making a mini journal cover. Nice and simple and quick and easy. I wasn't loving it when I started, but now I do love it. And now I can go back to some of the pieces that I chose and, and decide what I'm going to do. I know that here I'm covering pretty much this whole thing, but, and now this doesn't go, but that's okay because there's plenty of others. I'm sure I'm going to find something. Look at these beautiful labels. And these are all stickers, by the way, which makes life easier. That looks really cool on its own, but I'm feeling like I want to add a little something that breaks the pattern because we've got straight, 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 and now I just want to like mess it all up. And I know what I'm going to do, I think. 
so as I said before these are all stickers so it's actually tricky tricky business I'm gonna have to make it work okay stack those two together hopefully in the right place should have done it going up that way and then to the side but it's fine that will be my bling bling piece I'm gonna be adding some beads of course that's a ne next kind of natural step and here we go beads are added that looks quite nice now I'm thinking I can do a little tab here or a little something on the side perhaps this is gonna go well let's see maybe something like that or I might just do a little ruffle these are some little bits and pieces that I have tissue paper offcut things so I think I'm just gonna do a ruffle on the side and here we go here's what that's looking like I actually sewn all the way around and I like how that looks now I'm thinking a little something else perhaps I can cut something out of this here's a little piece that I cut out and the reason why I want to add something else here is just to break up these straight things happening here straight 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 you see maybe another little something and there it is my little journal cover complete now we have to complete the journal get some pages happening lovely I like them to stick out like that I like that look next we're going to bind using a three hole pamphlet stitch so we need three holes and bind starting from the middle go back through the top hole and the bottom hole and back inside remove the needle tighten tighten tie a knot and another knot and cut and journal is bound next add a little tab and another tab and another tab yes and a little bling just because well why not and there we have it a little journal it turned out quite beautiful i'm quite happy with it and it goes really nice with these journals i'll quickly show you some of these just for some more inspiration this one here has a little blink piece too and you can see the book page the washi tape just two little stickers uh, actually three stickers and that's it cover done and then on the inside i just use different types of paper a little bit of you know stickers here and there tabs and stuff like that see stickers from the same washi tape that i used here i just cut out these beautiful little stickers and there we have it then this one here I really love this one again the washi tape again a little blink piece up here and this is just cut out by hand book page and some labels labels and that girl and then on the inside you can see some beautiful little tabs and bits and pieces sticking out more stickers or oh, washi tape actually that's washi tape and that's that one and now this one here I included some beading on the spine during the binding process I have that washi tape and just one piece of book page it's not going across all the way I kind of left the back blank this is the first one that I did so I don't like that the back is blank and then two little pieces of washi holding that book page in place but really in reality the book page is glued down one little piece of ephemera here and then this sticker that sticker came from this washi tape and you can see there's a few different ones and there's beautiful these beautiful images that you've seen I've already used I just love love especially love these stickers speaking of the stickers that I love let me just show you the things that I got from the washi tape shop and all of these will be linked down below together with the coupon code so as I said this is a pack or you can just get individual ones if you don't want to get all of them but it's much better value to get all six of them and then you've seen this one all different types of little things in there these are all stickers you've seen this one these are labels it tells you up here vintage labels this is my absolute favorite one I love the colors and all of the little I used quite a lot of these but there's 60 in a box so so many in there and then you've seen this one as well with the little tags and then you've seen this one. I can't wait to make stuff with this. I think I'm gonna make envelopes. That's what I'm gonna do. These gold foiled washi tapes that I've used so much actually come in a pack like this. These next three I'm going to show you also come in a set. I love these in particular because of the gold foiling. You can see absolutely gorgeous. 
and these are already kind of cut so you don't have to cut them by hand so there's that one and then there's oh look at this one look at that there's this one floral gold foiling I know you can't really see in the video but kind of there on the side you can see all different images and then of course the birds absolutely love the birds look at that gorgeous this one here that you've seen comes in a set of five and some of them are Christmas themed like that's a Christmas this is the set here then there's this one wide washi that you've seen me use and this one I don't know the names I'll write the names on screen and then there's this one love the bold colors on this and of course the sunflowers my favorite flower this one's absolutely beautiful then there's this sort of thing there this one comes in a set of five I can't show you all of them but you'll be able to see if you go on the website I especially love this one that has these beautiful houses even though it is Christmas themed and it's not Christmas yet so I'm just gonna pop that one aside until Christmas time I think it might be a set of four love that and then this is the last one in that set all homely you see home kind of thing right cats mostly cats oh I've used some you see I like the cats but I'm a dog person I'm a cat person too then there's this one Japanese uh, or Chinese I don't know why I keep saying Japanese maybe it's not Japanese at all maybe it's Chi I'm not sure I really don't know then there's this beautiful spring themed or floral themed one then I've got some single ones like this this number one I like that one and then this one script washi tape love this script one look at that and it's quite sticky then I got this I actually already shown you this in another video this is 18 karat gold plated lucky star not lucky star lucky feather bookmark how beautiful that's a pretty cool like a little Christmas present I also got some stamps these are really handy little stamps these two and these two I've used this one so far they're really quite beautiful so I'm quite happy to have these and then the last thing I got is this stamp pad or ink pad I should say and I'm really interested to see how good it is let's see and there we have it perfect there are many different colors to choose from but I went with this one which is dark brown which I'm not I can't remember if that's the the name or what but in any case all of these will be linked down below if you wanted to check them out don't forget to use the code treasure10 to get a discount oh I also wanted to show you the swatches and I completely forgot about this I made little swatches so that's that washi tape there and then I can have I was gonna do all the girls but I I just did I just stuck with this and these are the swatches that I made from my previous washi tape holes I suppose and that way I can have all of them in place so I can kind of see you know what I've got and what I can use look at this so these are all of my older ones in any case I thought maybe this will be inspiring for you to see love 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 this look so we made single collaged index cards with five elements or more or less totally up to you which you can then use to turn them into a journal like this or you can have a flip up journal orient your all of your things this way and then you can have like a flip up even though the reason why I did it this way is because of the lines and that's how it's going to be written in and then of course we have the little ones I hope this was inspiring for you let me know what you think in the comments down below thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye